I should be dead, but I'm still breathing. It's a very ironic situation I've grown to accept. Near death makes me feel so alive, while on the other hand, the more I live, the more dead I become. This is the theory I've been living off of for years now, and soon enough, I'll confirm how authentic this theory really is. If it's true, when I'm dead, I'll blossom to a whole new flower, and I'll be full of all the colors I couldn't see in my past life. But if my theory fails, that flower will grow out of a concrete base, no guidance from rich soil, no color to motivate its future, no climax to make it blossom. The petals will stay closed tight, and it will have to learn how to accept its fate all over again. I can only hope the first outcome is correct, but I can hope in one hand and piss in the other, and see what hand fills up first. Usually the piss wins. Oh, you look so cute today. What, all my colors? I wear the same thing every day. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we gonna do today? Uh, whatever your pretty little heart desires. Where do you want to go? Whatever I want? Yep. Whatever <laughs> your little heart desires. I don't know. What do you want to do? I mean, we can go show the vlog the new cabin. I mean, I've talked about it once or twice before, but I've never actually showed them what's going on. We can go show them if you want. Um, yeah, I guess so if you want. Do you want to? Sure. I mean, let's do it. You might as well. Okay. I'm down, let's get it. Hi, can I get a uh, medium iced caramel coffee? Anything else? And inside the coffee, can I get two creams and three sugars? Anything else? You want anything? Yes, I'd like a frappe caramel. And a caramel frappe. What size? Uh, small. small. <laughs> anything else? No, nah, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, you Hi. Nice yeah. Damn, we always be waiting. Come on, man. <laughs> We're trying to get my coffee. Come on, man. We're trying to drink my caffeine. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm saying, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna go down. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, I Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Come on, man. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. What'd she say? I don't know. I think that she thinks she gave you like seven straws. <laughs> I think she said I like your YouTube, by the way. Hey, that's that. Oh, coffee. really? You drink coffee like 24 hours a day. I know. I love it. If I don't have my coffee, I just, I just need it. You drink like too much coffee. <laughs> I know. I have a caffeine addiction. <laughs> Definitely 100%. But it makes me feel more excited and awake. You're and such like, a weirdo. My heart starts pounding. And Give me like my that. coffee. <laughs> Might be weird, but better than drinking other types of poison like alcohol, stuff like that. I guess so. I never thought to ever try alcohol. To me, alcohol was worse than having no emotion. I've had many examples as to why that concept applies. I did not have a father in my household growing up. He was hospitalized for most of my childhood due to alcoholism. I knew I had a dad, but I didn't understand why I never see him. I made imaginary concepts in my head about where he is or what he's doing. One time, I believed him to be on the moon for a secret mission. I swore to myself he was in the FBI or working for the government. It made so much sense in my head, but I never came to the realization that he was on his deathbed. As I grew older, I noticed that almost every single thing I ever cared about was being destroyed and ripped away from me because of that poison. It was always out of my control. I don't like being out of control, and if I slip up to a sip of beer, I'll lose control of my thoughts. My mind will have a field day of its own, and that will only call for chaos. Follow thy eye. <laughs> Follow thy eye. This is here. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm so proud about and so happy with. Here, let me, let me show them around a little MTV crib special, you know? Yeah. Oh. Let's see it. You know, look at how creepy this thing is right here. This little, uh... This little shack thing. I know this whole thing just like creeps uh, me out. Oh, this is mm, this is like it right here. It's so scary. Guys, I know I've told the vlog this once or twice before, and if you follow me on all my other social media, I've talked about it a few times. But I'm making a little like cabin in the woods. That's what it is. There's a woods right there, and it's like a little cabin, and I'm super excited to be able to film videos in here and pretty much live in here, you know? So excited, I'll, I'll, I'll put a bed or something up there, get some stuff all around here. I'm so excited. I you don't like know, I'm like creeped out. You like it or not? 
I I guess I don't know. I like the I like it, but I just don't like where it's at. Like it's just so creepy. The location. Yeah. Uh, that's the best part of it all. The location. Are it's, you joking? I just don't like. It's like in the middle of the woods and like the creepy woods, whatever that's, whatever happened there or whatever. That's just what, scares that's what me. Makes this perfect. The location. Maybe for you, not for me though. For it's me. scary for me. They don't even know what I'm talking about. Isn't it? Tell them their story or whatever. They don't, I seem crazy. Let me get comfortable, because I've never really told this story out loud before. I know the story, I've heard it a million times, but I've never, I've never told it before. So I don't really know how to like go about it, but pretty much to make it simple, father, son, daughter. The father and son, always always came to this woods for hunting trips son was about 12 13 years old while uh, the mother stayed home and always worried about when the father and son would go out she'd always say no don't go out there it's a little bit dangerous out there because i guess the wood just has a creepy vibe to it in the first place well one day the father accidentally slips up and has an accident with the son you know he, he accidentally shoots the son and in panic, he goes over there to try to save him, obviously, like anybody would do. Father is over his bleeding out son and watches him die. Now, with no one around, father could not live with himself. He, doesn't, he can't even believe what happened, so in the spur of the moment, the father takes his own life. Obviously, when they never came home, the mother started freaking out, and uh, she calls the cops. She goes to the woods with the cops, and she sees that her family is dead in the woods. She goes home and hangs herself. Now it's a homicide and two suicides. The whole family, legend has it that they still go back to that woods and they love this woods. That's kind of why nobody hunts here anymore and nobody even goes in these woods anymore. It's kind of a crazy story. Don't know their names. Names were never brought up to me as I was growing up. And uh, you might ask me why I know this story and Pretty much why I know this story is because this is my family's land. It happened way before my family moved here, of course, but, uh, you know, neighbors tell the story, then, then this happens and that happens, and, and word gets around that my family now lives on this land. And couldn't work out any more perfect. I don't know how true it is. I want to find out, though. I really want to find out, so that's why Ashley's freaking out and she doesn't like this because True or not, the story is still really, really, really creepy in that woods. I've been in there many times growing up, and uh, super weird vibe. I think I might have to bring the Ouija board here and find out how true the story really is. You think so? No, I don't want you to haunt this little house before we even get in it. The woods is definitely haunted. I'll tell you that right now. I know. The woods is definitely haunted, but... Is that story true? Yeah, how do you know? I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true or not. It's what I'm told. So I, I can ask my mom, anyone. She'll tell me the same thing, but I need to find out myself. Maybe I can contact them on the little Ouija board. You're crazy. Might have to try it. Let's go take a walk in the woods. All right. What are you doing? Hurry up! I'm scared, we got a Jake. Floor today, boys and girls. But I'm scared. Look, I got a little a little walkway already kind of built into the woods because my family's house is right there. So growing up, I used to ride dirt bikes and stuff through here. So there's like a little trail, but way back there is where it gets a little bit creepy. So let's go up there. There's uh, houses I think built like way back there now, and that was never there. And now that there's much more civilization, I don't know. Maybe it could have like forced the spirits to leave. Maybe they didn't want those houses there and stuff like that. I don't know. It's but, still really creepy, Jake. Yeah, I know. But we're still gonna, we're still gonna check it out. <laughs> I'm scared. That's uh, the good part. It's creepy. I don't want to go back there though. I'm too scared. Oh, I'm scared. I want to go. I want to go. Why are you grabbing on there? Cause I'm scared. She trusts me with every ounce of her blood. She comes to me for safety, but has no idea that I'm the furthest thing from safety. She is holding onto a pit bull that can snap at any moment, depending on Jason. That's what I call the monster up there, in my mind. I call him Jason. All right, so what do you think about all of it? I'm still scared, and I don't like this idea, so... <laughs> I can't wait. I cannot wait to get this all started. It's been too long. I'm 
pumped and I know that the vlog is pumped too. I don't think it's a very good idea, Jake. It is a brilliant idea. Thank you very much. I'm excited to get this started. I didn't get my fix today. Today was an execution day. After a near-death experience and after that overflow of adrenaline, I'm able to go a few days, sometimes weeks, without executing again. This doesn't mean that I stopped thinking about my next move. I am consistently living in my head, daydreaming and debating with myself. I like to see what's behind my eyes rather than what's on the other side. How long will my last fantasy last me? Will I strike again tomorrow? Will Jason start pulling my strings? Will my next execution be the death of me? Will I soon feel alive?